Mangalisa! 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 Second album, Mangaliso. Now, this album, you know, it's quite personal, I feel. Like, to me, especially for me, like... He, you know, man, like, practically, what, what you could have done, practically, just, 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 I don't know, I never bought, I don't have the physical copy, but this whole album is, is legitimately, I would say, kind of, like, dedicated to God. Yeah, man, like I really connect with the album, like just like off bat, like before I even get into it. Like, I feel like I don't know some people may not understand. It. Like, to me, it's very spiritual when it's like connects with me. Like, I get, I understand, like, I'm still young, Bona, but I I go through a lot of what you gone through like just from all these songs like going into this album let's like let's speak about it it's like this is your second album after umlilo the first album yeah if you don't know Ubongeziwe, apparently when you were on in, in you used to act in generations back in like i don't remember you but I, I, but yeah i don't I'm, I'm, my memory quite blurry i wanna but anyways, getting into this album, um, just coming into it, like, the first intro, like, kind of set the tone for the whole album, like, we kind of, it kind of practically just, like, name, kind of, like, I don't feel like there was much in terms of, like, message, message, but he kind of, like, name drop. it was, like, he intro, he, like, it was right that it was called intro because the intro was like young introduction like kind of like an essay type vibes like giving us hints of things he's going to talk about like kind of setting the tone for the album like he's practically laying it out like this album is about going to be about him and his personal journey with and his relationship with god so yeah man that was a lot. another thing I love about off track side note. Yeah, nah. Another thing I love about um Bung is you like Ngum Tosa writes. And like I, I don't know, there are other Tosa artists out there. But I feel like when you are you're different. Like you 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 you, you special, like you you are like handcrafted. I don't know. I feel like you're very crafted. You were like crafted by God, man. Like I don't know. Everyone's crafted, I guess. But I don't know. But you just you, you have that oomph and that different. Like even your like your sound throughout this album. Like it, to me, it's especially South Africa. We haven't really heard a lot of like raw. Like when I say raw sounds, I mean like back to going to the guitar and percussion sounds and like going back, man. Like a lot of overproduction currently in South Africa like he house and everything not bashing it but you kind of gave us something different to this album and I appreciate it because it's very alternative type it's probably indie type vibe world music it could like if this was the 80s like <laughs> when like Opal Simon and them used to come around and snatch up artists I feel like you probably want to be one of those artists being snatched up even like your tone is different like your voice like you could hear your voice from Mkote that was like special bro and that girl getting into track 2 which is like kind of folk music pretty groovy very groovy i like it like it was very groovy a very catchy hook as well and like the guitar throughout the song and like it was like a young and nice vibe like it was a light groovy type song compared to the rest of the like i'm gonna say compared to the rest of the album this album gets kind of deep when i say it gets deep like it's like very emotional songs like they ain't like grooviness the coach i've nyana like it's very few songs that are like i would say radio friendly in terms of a lot of songs are radio friendly but uh, in terms of like they pop like pop music like pe and the uni i would say the uni i would say is probably one of them um the next track um 
Dogulandela. Cookies in job. But anyway, Dogulandela, yeah. It says, in, uh, it says in the title, Journey, man. Like, it's kind of like, it get, again, he's getting into his relationship with God throughout, like, his speech. Kind of talking about the journey he goes through and and everything that he's talking about. And, like, loyalty. Loyalty. And, like, dedicating his life to God, you guys. And, I'm sorry. I get distracted. Cookies in Jabru. I'm from Lunya. <laughs> but anyways, back to Louis. It's like Ndokulande, like I think it's one of his singles. It's very touch if you like you search up the lyrics and you like actually like translate it for those who don't speak it's close. Like it's very personal, like it's very like it's like him dedicating his life to God type vibes, like being born again, like type like it's like I don't want to call this gospel, but it's not gospel music. It's just, it's it's like a, like it's like his personal relationship with God out there, and it's like that's why I feel like this album, if it was dedicated to anyone, I feel like it should be dedicated to like, it would be like dedicated to God for for the glory of God type vibes. But it's not gospel music if you get what I'm saying. It's not like praise and glory type music, but it's like his personal relationship and how he's been up and down. Yeah, and that's like. Dokulande like Noboganja and Lum Landel Zoamanai and then Utrak for Tibuile again it's like a type of prodigal child type vibe, you know, like a man left like and then through kinda of like it's like that phase when you just leave you think you live without God and you're like, ah I can do whatever I wanna do. It's like even in this, like the pre-hook, he talks about Lawe, like how he chose to live without God, and after years t- crying and all that, he came back and he's back home to my wife. And the boy, lovely, lovely, lovely song, man. Yeah, and then track five, food. Don't fill up, don't fill up, don't fill up. I feel like to me, I don't know, I don't know. To me, this song, they turn Eastern Cape, yeah, <laughs> but I feel like this song would speak to a lot of people who live in Eastern Cape in terms of. I would say it's dead. It's made like you're talking about Eastern Cape per se. You just talking about I don't know. You talking about in general, like he would, if he doesn't leave, he'll die. Yeah. And it's like life, like life's like that. Upper Eastern Cape, it's like if you don't leave, so bad. up am also and like practically everything bad and nothing to do and killing ourselves. But anyways, I still want to build this place. We need to build this in. Shout out to Eastern Cape, yeah, yeah, Bona, East Sky area, Trans Sky, yeah. Shout out to that man. Go fell up. That was also a nice song. Um, Pilaganzi was the next song. Very slow, like type struggle song, like. It's type of music I would kind of listen when I say listen to kind of go. I'm going to go. I can go. I'm a varsity. I'm a, when I'm writing like exams soon, that's the type of music I listen to. It's like that. This and lady, lady Smith, Black Mambas. Like I'm going on. Like I just. Like. Bruh. Like. Pilaganzi. Pilaganzi, man. It's like a bunch of beautiful song. Like. And then I'm um, going to like the upper, another, the second kind of poppyish type song, Oh Mangaliso, which is very upbeat. Mangaliso, oh Mangaliso, pa 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 it's like that song that kind of gives you hope that you will you will do more no man least man one day you'll you you'll break through and start in your timing you know things are just not in your timing but it will happen and it's never too late and then going to chat eight oh no it's wrong and yeah, I'm 
bruv. I feel like now, like to me, like this is probably the most personal song to me on this entire album. Like I connect with this song hundred percent. Like my biggest fear in terms of my relationship with God is God letting ah niggas like like God letting me go. And this song, short, but still like so impactful. Like it's just, it's just I would say it's a typical. I would say it's like it's like a journey of a Christian. Like, bro, like it's the type of things. And you'd be like, help me be who you want me to be, bro. Because this song, bro, is just special to me. Like I connect to it hundred percent. Like I feel like it's my favorite song off the album. It's very low tempo type. Kind of, I'll say, like, not depressing type of song, but that's what I'm saying. It's deep, like, very deep. You know? And I don't usually, like, I won't say, usually my favorite songs are not, like, deep songs, but this one, it just hits me home because I feel like I relate 100% to it. And I appreciate you writing the song. And I appreciate you doing this whole album fit. Like, to me, like, this is what I've always wanted, like, to see how people can, like, put an album out for God. For it not also kind of not sound like gospel type vibes. But it's very personal. It's about, like, your relationship with God and your journey. And that's why I just connect with that song particularly because I feel like I also go through that, bro, like, like, yo, falling and slipping and fearing and do that and come out worthy and everything man and and this what all i want to do is be what god made me to be man you know and yeah track eight bro like yo yeah track nine will go kaya 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 it's like a journey home talking about what do I think it's like it's like his journey, man. Like again, a lot of this music connects to each other. Like it's like one thing. Like again, it's about his journey about him, man. Him, 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 that is like I believe there's like a lot of holy mountains apparently, like behind me or in front of me, should I say? That's where I go and stuff. But like, yeah, I connect, but like to get some space and Kaya, Kaya is like heaven, I guess. And then like track ten is when. Uh, it's like him dedicate, saying that he trusts God, like he puts his trust into God, or if it's not even God, like I feel like if if this it could, uh, there are boxes that tick. Yeah, it's for God, like it's very like holy and how is holy? It's very um God orientated, but I guess. You could also kite like if if you want to dedicate it to like your your lover, <laughs> Abon, you could enclose that. In. But I feel like to me personally, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. This album not about God. <laughs> then I'll be wrong. But to me, I feel like it's very much about God, and because I, I that's what I get out of it, and I appreciate that. And this song is like that to tell you about know, um. Like and then and my favorite line in that song was when you talking about that there, there are a lot of gods, but there's no one like you, which, which is very true. I get go, I get go far now. I get go do, I get go do, I get go do. Very long song, and I feel like this song is like a journey type vibes also. Like, this whole album is like a journey. Like even the album picture fits the whole title of the thing. Everything is just to me. Everything just fell into place with this album. Like I feel like. No wonder you won a summer award. Like you just deserved it. And then the last track closing off was um about um Tito and Bao featuring U Spokes Matambo. Spokes Matambo of his verses and his unique style. Man, crazy. Shout out to you, man. We need more music from you. But this song is kinda of like an ending and the closure and it's like a praise like thankfulness to God and for everything that he's, he's been for. And like it's just closing it all off and just being like praising God and thanking, being thankful for where he is. I guess it's very hard to get up there in music, you know. It's very hard, I understand. And God's been with him. Even when he ditched God, well, God's always there. And he's the, and that's what, this is like a praise, thankfulness to thank you God type closer. A perfect closure for the album. 
also I think it was a single, there's a video for it out there. Go check it out. Yeah, but then yeah. That was Mangali so man. Like me personally, I feel like I enjoy this album. Bungizu to me is one of my favorites um vocalists and guitar players. Like and many of your styles also slick, bro. Like legit. I don't, I still have to see one of your shows one day. Like I don't know if you ever come to East Cape, but because you're always in Cape Town. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand you up. But yeah, what is Black Major? You need to talk to Black Major. Book you some shows this side, bro. You must come over to the Eastern Cape, bro. Like have form. Because I need to see you. At least, I need to see you at least live. Because I feel like. You, that that'd be a, a different experience as well, and your music's not. I won't say it's, it is appreciated, but it's not that appreciated, and it should be. And I feel like it would be appreciated more globally, cause it's very like like I feel like this is like a blue, a blue young blueprint. Cause I could never put the finger on like what is wholesome music in terms of like moving forward, and I feel like this type thing. It's like a move direction, like the putting about about closer on the map, Eastern Cape on the map. Even Anati did it, and uh, this is also with it. You were also with it, and like kind of getting giving us confidence being about close on that. And yeah, and I appreciate this album, man. Like especially like the whole religious side of like how your relationship with God and putting it out there, man. Like very people don't, a lot of people don't do that lately. And shout out, man. Like if you don't, if you never listen to this album, go check it out. But uh, buy it if you can buy it wherever you can sold. I don't think about my own music about Valor these days. <laughs> well, at least in the Eastern Cape. But, but yeah, anyways, go check out the album, go stream it, listen to it. When I say, I'll say when you listen to this album, listen carefully to the, the mus- musicality of it because a lot of like great solo parts and. A lot of great music in it and i say go check it out man like i really love this album it's like one of my top favorite albums and yeah man like it's very personal like when i listen to this album there's a time for it and it's just pretty very appreciated and i really love it i feel like even i feel i hope god would be happy with it because this is, this is lovely to me like but who am i but yeah like yeah, shout out man and I hope you do well man. Like, representing. Now go check out this album, Mangali. So Mangali so oh Mangali so Mangali so that you know bone no bone Mangali so Yeah, waiting for your next album. Oh solo album Yeah, so glindile bro. So glindile. Sure man. Great artist. Shout out to you man, pushing hard all these years and now things are coming out enjoy this album and i hope you enjoy it too when you go listen to it you must be seeing